You're planning 45 minutes? That's also when I was planning. Perfect. Enough time to lose another ironclad run. Peloton bikes seem like dangerous machines. The most dangerous machine in your house right now is your Roomba. Do you know where your Roomba is right now? It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your Roomba is? When my Roomba vacuums my house, it will stop for a second to take a photo of the interior of my dwelling and send it to an online server, and then it will start going again. And it thinks it's being sneaky. But it's not fucking sneaky. I know exactly what it's doing. It's unreal. Oh shit. I just remembered a song I haven't listened to for a really long time. I wonder if it's because it's like horribly sexist or something. It might be. Let's find out. This is Swingerhead. I have not listened to Swingerhead in probably 10 years. Anyway, this is how I feel about my Roomba. She could be a spy. We should listen to more Swinger Head on this channel. Is there a swingers channel on Discord? I'm in a different Discord for that kind of stuff. They definitely have Discords for swingers, though. Some cat of sun.
Oh shit, the trombone's back. Is that like an alto trombone? That is very high for a trombone. I made the wrong play last turn. I should have hit the other one with blood for blood. Cost myself three health. I only get down that. You think that was just a jazz tenor? Fuck, I could never sound like that on a jazz tenor. Swinger head album. Spotify. What? There's a swinger head Christmas? Is it too late? Oh my god, it sells for $184.75 on Amazon. Good lord. Good lord. It isn't even discontinued by the manufacturer, apparently. Apparently you can just get this from the manufacturer or pay $184.75 on Amazon. These are your two options. Choose widely. Uh, uh widely? Wisely. Wisely. There you go. Um... This is a good one. Oh, this is on Apple Music. Where's Spotify? What is this garbage? <laughs> I, I am entering my excellent streamer um, stage. Hmm. My monitor just turned off and on again. That's fun. What if I doesn't have a swinger head? I need to use Apple Music? This is honestly just a bit too much work. I guess I'll use Apple Music. I guess they didn't take off. All right, uh, try for free, sign in, uh, two-factor authentication. Don't tell this code to anyone, Twitch chat. 065. Remember this for me. And 457. Your brother heard it? Jesus, chat. It's okay. I got in touch with my lawyer. Oh, I played dropkick. Shit. Steps they both want to do, darling. Hi, 
I'm not replaying Ascensionate Ironclad. Ironclad fucking died. Ironclad is dead. But lives again. But was dead for a while. Like this. Most people are too cowardly to put marimba in music. Honestly, it's embarrassing. That's a vibraphone. Yeah, I think you're right. Ba ba ba. Ba da da. Ba da da. Ya da. Ba da da. Ba da da. Ya da. Ba da da. Ba da da. Ya da. Ba da da. Ba da da. Ba da da. Ba da da. Ya da. Ba da. That was one of the better snack oils I have ever had in my life. It was a very good snack oil. You're not wrong. And she said, darling, I can't dance but I'll oh, oh. I got this with the prime sub! Like this. Cha -cha -cha. Boom, 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 boom. So, Twitch chat, back before you all were born, this is what me and my friends used to jam to you. The song does not show from Apple Music. I know. Well, do you want me to change that? I can change it. I think we're going to be here for a bit. Seems to be back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back bangers. Oh, we already listened to that one. Hey, it's a DM slide. This is a DM slide from before they had DMs. Incredible. And before maybe we knew that they were bad. We're literally the same age. What do you want me to say? Oh. I know me a home. You just played it from your record? I couldn't afford a record player as a kid, so I just had the vinyls and I just looked at the ridges and sort of imagined what it would sound like. Thank you. 
There's a guy who could do that by feel. Was he named Beethoven? Is playing a flame barrier against multi attacks the most satisfying thing in the game? I think it is slightly less satisfying than dying as Watcher. I feel like Exume isn't very good here. Which is bizarre, because Exume is usually very, very, very good. I could just take it and assume it becomes good, which is likely. Or I could take a Reaper, which is like mediocre, but okay. I'm just gonna take Reaper. It's like fine. Is this a Snacko run? This is actually an okay Snacko. I was gonna Astrolabe, I think. Movie star, she's the lady with the big secret. I'm gonna go Snacko, actually. Oh, this promotes smoking. I don't think we do that anymore. Don't know about that. What things about my stream will age poorly? Head is on Spotify. That seems very believable. Well, I didn't see them when I looked, so oh well. It's a three month free trial to Apple Music. That's just good value. I'm gonna take Entrench so I can take Barricade. Baby with the big cigar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going to card awards. I guess we could hunt for apparitions, but it feels unsporting. I don't know what people do when they go out to like clubs now. Because I don't do that, so I don't know what the modern day equivalent would be. Oh shit, I could have played Body Slam. My bad. This is now a stream where I just listen to music and click on buttons and slay the spire, and you can all watch me. Is that what streaming's usually like, actually? That might just be what it always is. I guess I didn't consider that. Always has been. Yeah.
if you they swing. Take a Berserk Plus. Arcade and a calipers and uh the hot dog. Uh oh. Not sure this is a good berserk. Could I berserk and then drop kick myself? Doesn't look like it. It starts playing. Oak start swaying, and it really swing. It didn't die? I guess it's 32. Okay, my bad. But I like fries with that. Sure! Works for me. Did I ever get into Electro Swing or the Revivals? I don't believe so. It does not sound familiar. I already listened to this one. Yeah. Oh shit! really unfortunate that they had to make trumpets illegal after dancing a plague. me honestly, would you still like this band if I wasn't singing along? Like, I know my singing enhances the song greatly. No? Yeah, okay. to sit.
The singer is a convicted scat man. Is this the scat man that I've been hearing about? The music sounds great. Just me singing. I'm not sure I know what that means, but I agree. And slay the Spire mod that randomizes, generates cards, images each time you draw them. Like it has a list of pieces of art and then assigns one at random. I don't know of such a thing existing. If you're watching this on the YouTube upload so you only hear me singing. Makes sense. I remember when she put ketchup on spaghetti, threw it on the floor, and then she asked, oh, my, oh, my. I feel this is a very positive portrayal of a relationship. This is about a literal child, right? That's why the person being sung about puts ketchup on spaghetti, throws it on the floor, and then yells for more. I don't think I ever understood when I listened to this music as a kid. Hmm. It all makes so much more sense now. I have learned something today about my childhood. Baby. Since the last time I upgraded a flame barrier in Act 1, I used to do this. Not like every time or anything, but with some amount of regularity, I feel like. Hey, my snack away isn't terrible for the first time in my life. No wonder I'm enjoying myself. Actually, all the cards cost two, never mind. Oh. Shit, Fiona Pain's real good here. I have a Juggernaut. Fiona Pain's always better with a Juggernaut. Eh. Do I take song requests for six ninety charity donations or is it sixty-nine dollars for charity? I'm currently listening to this thing.
I am otherwise disposed listening to a swinger ahead. Second wind would have been good with uh feel no pain. Stick it anyway. Oh. I mean you got a raid. Full omelet. Seems right to me. You might be wondering, how is it legal to play trumpet like this? It isn't. It isn't legal. You're listening to crime right now. American music has blood on its hands. Placed in trumpet jail. Is certainly aware. Sentinel plus and assume that at some point that interacts favorably with something. The trumpet is the coward's trombone. That sounds right. That's not a measurement of time. Disappointing. God, what if this takes Juggernaut too? That would be too upsetting. Also impossible, fortunately. I was already at full health. Disaster. The Milky Way. I don't know how I'm killing that. Should probably not make myself vulnerable this turn. Mm 
I should I panic? Slight panic. This one deals another. Does it? I think that deals another seven damage per turn. Nope, not that one. Featuring such bands as Squirrel Nut Zippers. Squirrel Nut Zippers, I was a fan of, but then weren't we all? Why? Yes! Thank you. I think I just take Demon Form. Like, I'm trying to make Juggernaut good and everything, sure, but Demon Form is just better here. This is an okay choker. Choker is a good relic, but the only thing you can do with it is choke your runs. You should just play better. I think I killed that. It's okay. Eed. Eed. Unlucky. Can I just take another demon farm? It's probably fine. This is a situation where Choker is completely fine. It is optimistic to think I will ever play more than six cards in a turn, and I just don't need to anyway. Swirl one was fine. I oh, don't know, I wanna eat. So whirlwind was not fine. Okay. Oh no, Dark Embrace. No, Dark Embrace, don't make it so I can play more than six cards a turn. Anything but that. Presumably I take it. Feels like I would take it. Huh. 
All right, one does not mess around with the jaw worms. These ones have to die. Oh my god, I forgot about this song. You know, Swinger Head had range. Maybe that's the right way to uh, think about some of their songs being horrifically offensive. The singer was an inglorious bastard. No. No, make more daggers. This run appears to be about dying to Reptomancer. It seems to be what this run is about. Holy shit, you have to stop Reptomancer. Reptomancer, please, I want to live. Another Juggernaut. I think we've moved away from Juggernaut now. I don't think Juggernaut's our thing anymore. Wait, is this the death to Guardian? No. Almost, though. I forgot to use regen potion. Hey, happy flower. Whatever it's called. Was it a weekend one? No. Oh wait. I didn't use regen potion in case I got magic flower. Gigantic brain. Then I died. You accidentally boss up into Philo Stone. I think Philo Stone's fine. I don't think you can click the boss swap button. 
happily if you're going to be upset if you get a pile of stone. Do it. This isn't Swinger Head. We do not grant you the title of Swinger Head. But we will allow you to be a Jedi or what? I don't remember. What do they say in that scene? It's something like that. This is the sort of deck that would just be too slow and die a decent amount of the time at Ascension 20. It's missing, like, an Impervious or something, I don't know. Get Red Bull. May, come talk to me. You just do it here? You just do it here. Steven. Oh god, my internal voice. Now I can only hear you singing and I can't hear the music, so I'm getting... Is it better or worse? You know, it's different. And that's all. How are you today? I'm really tired. How are you? Okay, I got pretty okay sleep last night. Nice. I'm really happy yeah. for you, May. Well, I'm just trying to brag. As the only person on the planet who slept okay last night, I think. Anywho, uh, I'm Jin Fizzes. I'm your disaster mod. The one who's always doing things wrong. Today you uh, offered to donate to the channel for me to do squats with my butt facing the camera. I didn't offer to donate to the channel. I said that that should be a donation incentive. It's different. You did then call me out and I did donate to the channel. So that- So it is, is different but functionally the same. Yes. Listen. I'm a lawyer. I have to specify. I do think that that's going to be lost on the jury, May. <laughs> well, we'll have to see. I'll see you in court. Uh, anyway, I'm May Origin Fizzes. I am a mod for Jorbs and a stained glass maker and sometimes a lawyer and sometimes an admin and I do all kinds of stuff. I sound AI. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Can we have text for May, please? Oh, on the screen. Hmm. We can do that, sure. I'm just reading chat out loud. I haven't quite gotten to the point of streaming where I can read it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking proud of you, May. <laughs> Maybe someday. Lazar wants to know if I know Pataru Pataru. Hmm. Well, it's been st uh, spammed pretty nonstop for like a couple years now. So I'd say I'm familiar. Which chat is nothing if not creative. And by that I mean they create one thing every two years. What is uh, my stance on cat girls? That's complicated. So here's how I feel. 
Yeah, let's get into it. Everyone get your paper and notebooks out. Um, I respect the cat girl voting block, and I respect the love of cat girls. I don't get it, but I respect it. Also, sometimes I'm wearing cat ears in my profile picture. So maybe are you I today? am a cat girl. Oh, you are today as well. I am today. I could uh, capture that. You would become a Swift fan. Or fan favorite? Yeah, there you go. Fan favorite. That was a very politic answer. Have you considered politics? Uh, I wanted to be the president when I was eight years old. And my history teacher mm. told me that I was too opinionated and I should reconsider. The main issue is youth there. They don't let you run until you're 45. Hmm. Well, I did read, uh, what was it called? It was about being the president as a 10 year old. It was a youth novel. I forget now. Uh, Bush v. Gore, I think. Oh, <laughs> good. Yes. No, not mentally eight, actually eight. Um, someone asked me a question. Who is the best Jorbs? Um, Steven is the best Jorbs. Aww. No Jorbs at all. Oh. What kind of lawyer? A retired bad lawyer. Thank you for asking. What does bad lawyer mean? That you were bad at your job or that you used your job for evil? No, I was bad at my job. I wasn't good enough at it to use it for any evil. But a lot of evil got done because I was bad at it. Oh. So I quit. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. No, it was a pretty bad setup. Uh, you really need to be able to stand people yelling at you if you want to be a lawyer. That doesn't sound fun. Mm -mm. Hi, Albion. Did your legal career leave you with, like, respect for people who continue being lawyers? No, I think all lawyers are bad people. Okay. Sorry, all lawyers listening. Um, <laughs> here's my official theory. If your parents are too rich for you to become a cop, but you would have become a cop, you become a lawyer. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. We've stopped being politic with our answers, I see. Yeah. There are some things that I cannot reserve my opinion about. Well, we lasted, uh, you know, two minutes or whatever. Mm hmm. Pretty good. Can I ask you questions since you've been asking everybody else questions? Please do. Uh,. Did your dad ever take you fishing? No. What is your, like, memorable parental bonding activity? Taking my dog for walks. Oh, is that like when you had deep chats? I don't know if my dad and I have ever had deep chats. Oh. Yeah, my parents have a similar relationship with me. I think they were always just too confused by me to, like, do the parenting. <laughs> How did I become a Jorbs mod? I yelled at people a lot unofficially for a long time. Uh, <laughs> and eventually Jorbs just modded me. <laughs> that's my best guess of why I got a mod or a badge. Honestly, that's like distant past for me to a point where I couldn't tell you if you were right or wrong. All Sounds right, believable. Well, then we'll just go with it. Ah. Um, let's see. What other things? Um, what's your favorite food to cook? Hmm. Either pasta or potato. But what kind? I look at what's in the fridge, and it is that kind. Oh, I see. But don't you think about it when you go shopping? Do you just buy random food? <laughs> oh, have you ever seen me think about anything in your life? Yeah, I've seen you think about Slay the Spire decisions for like 30 times longer than I possibly could. Yeah, and then I'm done with thinking for the day. And mm. the rest of the time I 
I'm just grocery kind of store a, is just pure vibes. I'm just kind of a continuous car crash for the rest of my life. Is I guess what hmm. I would say. You know this about me. I don't. We don't like hang out in person. So like I don't know what your house is like or like how often you clean your litter box. Like I don't know those gauges of how much of an adult are you. Not an adult. Oh, that's too bad. Me either, but you know, maybe I one day. Just use a toilet. For the cats or for yourself? Oh, you mean the cat's litter box? Okay. Oh, yeah. That was just That's confusing fair. to me. I think peeing in a litter box would actually be kind of nice, but I'd never do it. I think that's why people pee in the ocean, right? It's nice to have your toes in the sand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think it would be great at all. You know? No, hmm. I would be worried about the like stepping in the pee afterwards. In the ocean, the pee is. That's what kind the litter is for. for you. It's not removed. It's just around you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, it's removed enough. Yeah, you've gone rapidly from I don't get cat girls to uh, I would enjoy peeing in a litter box. <laughs> so. And if you wanted to give me a collar, I wouldn't say no. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. It's fine. I wish I could sometimes. <laughs> um, let's see. What's the best thing you ate this year? I had a lot of good meals. Mm -hmm. What was the best one? Uh, a really nice steak and a bottle of salty wine. Salty wine? What kind of wine was it? It was from Mount Etna. It was white wine. I don't mm, remember the, the grape type or whatever. Mm -hmm. I just remember those two things about it. That but yes, it was volcanic soil and you could taste the salt. Hmm. I want to Google it so bad, but I'm not going to. You can Google it. Well, you hear all my typing and stuff. That's probably annoying. Can I ask annoying. Jorbs if he likes chili and how often he eats it? Is I can... Potato here? The Albion has stepped in for K to Potato? That's a question oh. from the distant past. It might I be see. from before your time. There was someone yeah, who always asked me if I liked chili and how often I ate it. That's, hmm. that's really the entire story. You're up to speed now. Jorbs channel lore. Always enlightening. Yeah, it does sometimes say a lot. <laughs> if you just repeat the same question often enough in chat, you really do become a fixture. I call that the Blas model. Uh-huh. What mm -hmm. other ways would you identify of becoming an excellent chatter in Twitch chat? Uh, forcibly saying hi to everyone. Okay. You just gotta tag everyone in a separate message, clog it all up. You really want to do that. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. My favorite way to become a chat institution is to just know the answer to things. So, like, always be counting how many cards you played or remembering how much damage you did. People who can do that are remarkable to me. That's like a kind of neurodivergent that I am not. Okay. The wine is, is called there... Caraconte. Why? That's a type of chatter. Just knowing things. Did the Googling for me. Oh, there you go. That was, like, in fact, your exact example. Um, mm -hmm. Why would somebody need to know how many cards I have put? Um, I don't know. If, like, you have... What's the one where if you play fewer than four cards, you get extra cards? Oh, fuck, I'd watch pocket watch. That'd be a good reason. Fair enough. Alright, I'm on board. Yeah, I came up with an example. Well done. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you. Think it on my feet. I had to remind myself like four times not to take an edible today after work, so <laughs> it's all worth it. <laughs> what I is the... don't know if it would have been a problem. I don't think it would have been a problem, but it's very unpredictable what an edible will do to my ability to talk. Like, either I become mute or I become so talkative, but nothing I say makes any sense. Okay. It's a little complex. The Would origin... it offend you if I told you that I largely cannot tell whether you have taken an edible or not when we hang out? It would not offend me. It would relax me significantly because I have a lot of social anxiety. Okay. <laughs> um, someone asked how I got my username. Uh, it is my burlesque name from back when I did burlesque. Uh, I wanted a name that was evocative of vintage cocktails, so I went with a gin fizz. Also, gin fizzes are delicious. That's all. Oh no, I've made a mistake. That's all. Surely you won't be punished. Um, did you check Twitch TOS before coming on the stream? No. Alright, that's fine. That kind of seems like your business. Yeah, it'll probably be okay, right? Like... I mean... Yeah. I I'm their golden child. It's true. They, uh, they love me at twitch.tv. Uh, I would never order a gin fizz at a bar unless it were like a very fancy bar because that's an insane thing to do to someone. My go-to cocktail is a gin and tonic because I have to be an ideal patron. What is a gin fizz? A gin fizz is uh, gin and lemon juice and soda water and then a shaken... Uh, and then I think there's some simple syrup in there and then a shaken egg white to make this like thick foam on top it's delicious but it uh you have to manually shake the egg in a cocktail shaker for quite a while those sounds like it would be work it I, is a lot of work i can understand you feeling like you were being an inconvenience doing that and not wanting to mm -hmm. that scans yeah uh i did dance professionally, sort of. I never really made more than I've spent on costumes. I was very into costuming. I don't know if you were here when I said this was the kind of duck that often died because it was too slow. I have a lizard tail. Oh, never mind. I'm completely fine. You get to die at least once. Yeah, and I have, um magic flowers, so when I die, I'll just be at full health again. Mm -hmm. Are there burlesque performers who make more than they spend on costuming? Oh, yes. Um, especially in Chicago and New York. Uh, there are performers in Chicago who make their entire income doing burlesque. Um, you just have to charge a lot and perform a lot. A lot more than I ever did. You did it. You did it! I'm so proud of you. Everyone said you couldn't do it. And here you are, showing them, proving them wrong. Is that your head narrative? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't think many people in my chat say that. Where can people buy my stained glass? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. May is in... way too fancy for you to be able to buy her stained glass. Like, yeah. unless, unless you got in a year ago. Like, you can maybe see that in a museum. But, um, I might start taking commissions again in February. You can buy it at Sotheby's. Yeah. 
<laughs> Imagine a Sotheby's announcer. Nope, stop. Twitch terms of service. Uh, <laughs> You're fine. To... You're fine. As long as you don't put it on screen. I think... No, I think we could put stained glass Goatsy on screen. Okay. Probably well, don't fine. Google Goatsy if you don't know what it is. Uh... Unless yeah, that you're... link is not safe for work. It might be against Twitch Terms of Service to put that link in my chat. Um... Hmm. Maybe we should direct people to the Discord. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, you can Google it if you know what it is, or if it's just your thing. Um, yeah. I have to ship out a goat seat to someone who... <laughs> Sorry, I've killed Chorms. Oh no. I finally did it. <laughs> or if it's just your thing. You know, know what you're into. Like, someone posted that because it's what they were into. Like, I have, I don't know, I have a lot of stories Is about. Is that why they posted the chat? Do you yes. know that for sure? Yes. My um, friend and I discovered Goatsy when we were perhaps 14 and mm -hmm. 15, maybe. And his dad lived in San Diego and he would go spend summer with his dad. And I would go down and hang out for like a week or two. We we're pretty good friends. And so when we were in San Diego in summer together, uh,. He asked his dad if his dad had seen Goatsy, and his dad was like, no, what is Goatsy? And hmm. so he he sent his dad to the site, and me and my friend were like in the corner, like looking away, like this horrible thing that we didn't want to stay in our eyes with anymore. And his dad was just like really like almost medically interested, like he was like trying to maybe diagnose some sort of uh, condition, it, really fixated on it, if anything. Mm -hmm. If anything, zooming in. Um, That's so valid. And that was kind of my response. I discovered it at like, I want to say 10 or 12. I was pretty young. Um, and when I saw it, it was like, it was sent to me as like an ew, gross out thing. And my first response was kind of like, oh, gross. What am I looking at? And my second response was like, wow. People are into so many different things than I am. I, I still cannot get over that your immediate thought was just like, this is somebody's thing. Because that had never crossed my mind and still hasn't, even as you're oh, yeah. trying to insist to me. The, the true. maker of the image, his Goatsy was stolen from like a Usenet forum. Um, the maker of the image posts a ton of like, and used to until 2014, post a ton of. Uh, just his own pornographic content of him doing stuff. Um, and uh, then he got doxxed by an article uh, and stopped posting, which is really tragic. But the whole story is kind of a bummer. He is still alive. I didn't know any of this. Yeah. Well, thank you. I guess You're you welcome. have to research the things you make art of. I really do. I'm, like, not that passionate about that many things, so if I'm making art of it, I have strong feelings. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be on. Yeah, I think we are now a 40-plus, not 14, or 0, 40-plus mm -hmm. year old stream. I'm just basing that on me feeling a little uncomfortable, so. Mm. And I'm 36, I think. Me too. I'm sorry. How's your back? It's so bad, actually. <laughs> I've been trying to convert all of my friends to massages. Yeah, my problem is like a lower back problem that happens when I'm walking, so I think I actually just need to do crunches, but uh, am I going to? Here's the Who thing. Who knows? If you go get a massage, mm -hmm. it'll help it. And you'll still need to do crunches to actually fix the problem but it won't be as painful while you don't do crunches and continue to not fix the problem. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's what I do. Actually, like, my shoulder is not easily fixable, but my hips are very fixable, and I get hip issues and 
all I need to do is stretch. It's just from sitting way too much, pretty much. Yeah. Um, I s yeah. But then I don't I stretch. sit cross-legged all the time, which is apparently just terrible for you. Huh. My hips are tight enough that I can barely sit cross-legged. Hmm. Okay, you can ask me questions. Now it's your turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> the thing is, I already know so much about you, but chat does not know so much about you. It's true. So it's I'll act like, like you don't know. Hmm. What's the what's the coolest experience that you had this year making stained glass? Oh, so do you know who Jamie Loftus is? Chat doesn't, Sorry, so I'll am tell I meant them. To pretend or okay. I'm just you confused have to, about what I think my you're role supposed to here. pretend. Uh, uh I do because of a story I heard from a, a friend of mine. Um, <laughs> actually, uh, so Jamie Jamie Loftus has come up on dates for me, actually. And then I get to be like, Well, have you heard of May? I wanna come up on dates for Jamie Loftus. Um Maybe so you Jamie, do. Lo you might. Oh, I might. That's true. Fingers crossed. Um, Jamie Loftus is a writer and podcaster and multi-hyphenate type person who wrote a book called Raw Dog about hot dogs this year, which is excellent, and everyone should read it. Um, and I made a stained glass hot dog that went pretty viral, and every person tagged Jamie Loftus in it until she finally was like, hello, may I please buy one of these? And then I got to make her a stained glass hot dog, and it's still hanging in her house, and sometimes she takes pictures with it, and it's really cool. is pretty cool. Has it generally been exciting to be making stained glass and having people get excited about it? Like a lot of yeah. people have craft hobbies and a lot of people dream of like something like, ooh, Jamie Loftus bought the thing that I made. Oh, I guess I don't think about it that way much, but it is really cool. My favorite thing about it as a hobby is that people think that it's, like, magic. They have no idea how stained glass is made, but it's actually a relatively simple product. And it's, like, really a craft and that's super learnable without spending any money. Uh, and, and, and I just think it's very cool to, like, wow people with this, like, physical object that is art. And they think it's been crafted by fairies or something, and that I've just developed it from nowhere. But it's a really simple process for making it. Do you find it relaxing to work with stained glass? I do. Um, parts of it are more relaxing than others, and all of it is pretty hard on my body. But I think cutting glass and snapping it apart is like the most satisfying feeling in the world. I recommend everybody try it. My Apple Music stopped playing. Oh no. How will you live without your swinger head? I'll play squirrel nut zippers instead. Mm-hmm. Yes, let me show you the stained glass that May has sent me. There are two. Ooh. You're back. Three, but one of them broke because I wasn't very good when I made it. All right, chat, it's just us. He left us alone. What should we do? You're right. I was wrong. Sorry. There are three. <laughs> Welcome back. We weren't getting up to anything. Wait, what were you doing? Nothing. May, I trust I'm offended that you would even ask. Trusted you, May. Why are people telling me that they I have their vote? What do they think I'm running for? This is Jorb's Parasocial in stained glass. That's pretty cool, yeah? I love that piece. I'm very proud of it. And this is Loeb. Can you explain the story of Loeb while I go get the other one? Yeah, Loeb or Loab. 
this will help people understand why there's a creepy face in my background. Bonsi, yeah. thanks for the $250 donation to support Free to Love. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Bonsi. Uh, Lober Loab is an AI creation from when AI generation was normal. She is the first AI cryptid. And basically, uh, anytime you searched for words that were far away from like comfort and happiness, she would appear. And she was often uh, surrounded by pictures of violence and crying children and other upsetting things. Very spooky. Um, I recommend Googling Loab and, and reading L-O-A-B, um, I think. Uh, if you, if you want to read all the spooky stories. Uh, I think Super Composite was the original maker who was... A big fan of the stained glass when it came out. Ah, uh, Jorps has really left us. He's getting the broken one. I made this so early in my stained glass career. It is such a mess. This is it's... Jorps Podge. Yes, this is one of your early works. Yeah, one of the very first things I ever made. It is um, a disaster, but I love it. It's great. N uh, doesn't I have was, a straight line on it. <laughs> I was sitting at home one day and it fell off my wall because the hanging thing was not fastened to it well. Yeah, I love because it. I great. wasn't good at soldering yet. The past. Why do we fall, May? Um, bad balance. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. That's just my guess. It's back to front. I think the, oh, no. uh, the um, camera is mirrored. Oh, okay, God. I was so confused. Oh, so we can get back up. That's what you were trying to say. Uh, right? That's, that's the quote, yeah, but okay, I like your I'm answer more. Very clever. <laughs> Amazing. Do you want to know my favorite thing about stained glass as a community? Sure. You've been asking everyone that about games, but yeah. the only gaming community I'm in is this one, so... What about <laughs> Domekeeper? I'm not really part of the community. Oh. I just, like, hang out in your chat and play games alone. Oh, sorry. I respect it. Yeah. Uh, so, what I love about the stained glass community is very little is gate kept behind a price tag like there are a lot of crafts that you can't get into unless you take a bunch of professional classes like jewelry making especially um especially like higher level jewelry making where you're casting and stuff like that um but i learned everything i needed to know about stained glass from youtube videos um and if you are I'm in some Facebook groups, which is a little cringe, but here we are, uh, where people will come up with new techniques and share them with each other, which I think is really cool and nice. It's a, a very generous community. That's cool. But my second favorite thing is that people make such ugly art, and they're so proud of it. And <laughs> I'm not even being sarcastic. I genuinely being, love it. Are you being I, mean? No, no, I'm not okay. being mean. Okay. Like the thing I love about it. I'm Would being the people a little you're mean. talking about agree that it's ugly? I don't think so, but sometimes yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. The the thing I love is that um, other people will take their fancy, expensive stained glass is so expensive to make their expensive art supplies and they will just turn them into trash and they will be like really proud and they will love it and it's this reminder to me that like that i you're shouldn't doing that be too or well sometimes but that i shouldn't not be doing that like i should be using my fancy supplies and i should be making worse art more often just to like have the experience of enjoying it or it doesn't have to be good to be fun to make um yeah i don't know i i really think that like 
embracing in your heart that making ugly art is a good thing is it's a lot like trying to be okay with losing its slight aspire. Sure. I have made an ugly thing or two in my life. Yeah, I like what? Tell me about your artistic endeavors. You want to see my Warhammer figurines? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm so sure. Some of them are actually pretty good, though. Yeah. I don't really want to stand up very much. Um, That's okay. I won't make you run around. I believe I you, that they're cool. I was never very... Um, I didn't take to visual arts easily as a kid. So in art class, I was decent at color theory. Like, I could use contrasting colors for mm -hmm. things. But in terms of, like, actual manual dexterity for molding stuff into a shape of some sort, just, like, very, very, very far beyond me. Yeah, yeah. it takes a long time to build up that fine motor control. I feel like you're making fun of me. No, I'm being serious. Okay. It's really hard. Okay, good. Um... Now I'm making fun of you because you just click scrap ooze to 12 health, but anyway. It's okay, I haven't <laughs> done the bomb, don't worry. I'm the Slay the Spire <laughs> guru here. It's true. I've got it all under... I might be dead. Um... <laughs> you want to see my Warhammer figurines as your opener at the bar? It is a little cringe. You, you can't, like... It would work on me. I'm not Henry Cavill. So for me, I generally feel like I need to, like, know someone at least a little while before I, I get into that stuff. Really? Uh, I, I think, think Henry Cavill can lean with it. I mean, Henry Cavill can do whatever the fuck he wants. Exactly. To me and anyone else, I'm sure. Uh, the thing that I think... I don't know. I just think, like, why are you going on dates if you're not enthusiastic with, about the people you're meeting? It's such a de it's so depressing. Oh, I'm to just me not enthusiastic about Warhammer that much. Oh, <laughs> you're, that's bad. you're misunderstanding the deficiency here. Uh, I thought you were hiding it because you thought you would be made fun of or something. No, it's just a thing that is more for me than for other people. I think it's more what yeah. it is. That makes sense. I definitely have sketchbooks that I don't want people to look at because they are just little bad, terrible doodles. Not where I thought we were going with that, but okay. Oh, sorry. For one time I'm not horny and you don't know what to do with me. Yeah. <laughs> Confused. Mm -hmm. You are perhaps the most aggressively sex positive person I know. Oh. Thanks. I'll take that aggressive part as a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> a good thing. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just like another flavor of the human experience, and it's really good to try to let go of um, the massive amount of shame that we are taught in relation to sex, and that means talking about it and being enthusiastic about it. Sounds sensible to me. Just what I'm trying to do with my life. Yo. You've had to take the bell. Dark days. I didn't even have to. I was excited to. But then I wasn't oh, really? excited to anymore. I could have just oh, taken the um, plus one energy. Would have been fine. Yeah. I figured I have toxic egg though. So I'm going to generate energy by finding skills. So I didn't need a fourth energy all that much. But then I like thought that, you know, the thing I was clicking on would do something. Mm -hmm. And it mostly just took away an Omamori charge. <laughs> question question card's okay. Yeah, question card does something. Saw a picture of Henry Cavill and realized you're probably at least a bit high. Yeah. I had an experience like that with uh, a Christian Bale thing. 
I had a thing in my life where I wanted to understand why my friends who were women found certain men attractive. I was very frustrated when Twilight was a thing, because I do not understand why that guy is hot. And it's still to huh. this day, I just don't get it. Um, Robert I, Pattinson? Yes. I understand that I don't have to get it. It's like... It is no longer frustrating to me, but there was a time in my life where I was frustrated by it. And so I tried to understand which men were hot and like what was making them hot. And Oh, that's a fool's errand. I know. I know. <laughs> but uh then like Christian Bale was like, Oh, oh, I get why this guy's hot. So I don't know what that says exactly. Hmm. It is what it I'm is. I'm sure Freud would have something to say about it. I think he's dead. True. Best to double check. Calculating hotness with my beakers and bubbling compounds. Yeah, basically. More hotness potions. When are the yeah. two of us getting married? Just because Whoa. a man and woman are friends with each other doesn't mean that they have to get married. That's a lot of commitment, y'all. Calm down. I already have too many boyfriends as it is. Man, and I both already have partners who aren't each other. Mm -hmm. Also, May, I'm not sure you're my type. That's so valid. I'm pretty sure you're my type, but that's not relevant. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to say to that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, May. You've diffused the rumors. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just trying to be funny, chat. I think it's working. <laughs> No, we're not flirting. That's a common misconception of me talking to anybody at any time. I'm just like this. Capital L, capital T. This is an entire conversation that we are not going to be able to uh, have completely today. And also it's the wrong day for it. But yeah. people just do not understand that men and women can be friendly with each other without it being flirting. That's true. Some it people. would be less awkward, Albion. You're right. I'm not going to see him sing a Padoro song. I don't even know the Padoro song. You seriously not know that? I thought you moderated my channel. I do moderate your channel, but very poorly. Have I done that? Yeah. I don't know how to play this game. Hmm. I feel that way at my job a lot too. How is your job going? Would you like to talk about your job at all? We are meant to talk um, about positive things that have happened this year, but I'm not sure that your job qualifies. My job is fine. Um, it's I'm an admin at a nonprofit. It is a lot of bureaucracy. I do very little work and get paid very little money, and that's enough for me. Uh, especially because of the very little work part. It was honestly the most positively I've ever heard you speak about your job. Well, you told me to be positive, so yeah, well done. I did it. Oh, chat is a mess right now, huh? Let's just look away. <laughs> yeah. One time I got catcalled. Oh? 
Well, actually two times. Two times I have been catcalled. One of them was flattering. Mm -hmm. Um it was on Ventura, I think, in LA. Mm -hmm. And someone in a bright orange sport car like slowed down to check me out. Nice. Uh-huh. Kind of flattering. Did they say anything or honk or anything? No. That's not a cat call. But I'm happy for you. You got checked out real good. It was a bit of it was a bit of a cat call. There was like eye contact made. It was Hmm. Um, the other time I was walking with another woman who I was friends with, who was not you, uh, and somebody yelled out the window of their car, your boyfriend's gay at her. We were not dating. Huh. Um, but yeah, this is a thing that is through the world over, that men and women cannot just be friends without people making it weird. That's true. I'm not a fan of being catcalled, so I just don't go outside in summer in Chicago. That's my policy. Believable. Believe mm -hmm. you. Happy for you. Have I remember you that time that, that you didn't realize you got checked out by the girl at the glasses shop. Do you remember that? I had forgotten about that. Oh, you should remember. I put that in your happy bank. For when you're feeling low self-esteem. I, st I still don't know if she was checking me out. That is your read on the situation. We can ask chat. Yes, please relay the story. So I went to the eye doctor and did the like eye check and everything, got the prescription, and then went out front to get a uh, new set of glasses. And the eyeglasses technician was fitting me for stuff. And then she just kind of was looking into my eyes and just didn't stop looking into my eyes for like an uncomfortably large amount of time. And then I was like, hello? And then she like did a kind of startle and went back to you, giving me glasses. I just think she was probably like asleep. And then she said, you just look really nice. No, she didn't say that. You just made That's that That's what up. you told me. No, I no. did not say that. Okay, well, this is, a, a, this is a point of contention for history. So I started a poll. Please feel free to vote. You are just completely making history up. <laughs> no, I remember. I could look through our DMs, I bet, but Please I won't. do. Oh my god, okay, let me see. Was search. my eyeglass technician Mitch McConnell? I can't rule it out, but I don't think so. Hmm, I can't find it. I, rem I see myself saying, remember that time the girl at the glasses shop got flustered by your cuteness? That is the energy you deserve. Which is true. You really... You've been living high on the story for apparently several years while misremembering uh, everything about it. Mm. How dare you? How dare you not simply take a compliment? What's the result of the poll? Uh, yes. 69%. Nice. So congratulations, you got checked out. Wonderful. <laughs> Marwan, thanks for the $5 donation to support Free to Love. I appreciate it. Very kind. This week, I am leveling up this account to as close to Ascension 20 as I can get it. Hey, I'm almost Ascension 10. Like halfway. Um, yes. And we are raising money for Free to Love, which is a program that funds art programs for kids. For the 69 bits go bold. I think it is an awesome cause. I think that um, teaching kids to make bad art, as May was just saying, is important, but also just teaching kids to express themselves, feel comfortable with who they are, and connect with others is something that is very important to do in today's world. So that's why I'm supporting this charity. 
and I'm glad you all are hanging out. And I hope we can raise lots of money for him. We already have. Yeah, I keep donating money, so it seems like I did a good job being here, chat. Just a little self-serving act, you know. You get checked out whenever you go shopping. How else are you going to pay? Oh, they have things which will just um, know who you are now. You don't have to do that anymore. The corporations just have like robots which are like, oh, you again. Would you like the same things as last time? That's the best part about online shopping is when you buy a backpack and then it advertises nothing but backpacks to you for two years. How many backpacks have you bought? Is it working? One backpack. So not working? Not working. I don't mind being advertised to. I like buying things, so... If they could do a good job of advertising to me, that would actually be kind of helpful. But no. They think that I want lifetime purchase products over and over and over again. I think Amazon is kind of just... I think it just kind of doesn't work very well. Yeah, it's not just Amazon, it's also like AdSense and the whole internet. Pablo squared. I'm just gonna... Let's just delete that. The internal monologue of a moderator. Yeah. Now you all know exactly the response that you're getting when you make us ashamed of you. It's just an exasperated sigh. Like, come on. Don't make me. Don't make me get my mouse and have to click something. That's exhausting. What about gaming accomplishments this year, May? Gaming accomplishments. You like um, to pretend that you're bad at Domekeeper, and then whenever I watch you play Domekeeper, you're in the top 50 in the world. Yeah, but like top 50, there's this huge skill gap, right, between like players who actually know the meta and casual players who just happen to be relatively okay at it. And I'm like a casual player who doesn't know the meta. Um, so like I can get a top hundred score pretty frequently uh sometimes top 50 depending on where we're at in the season but uh i'm not actually like i don't try hard enough at it to consider myself particularly good that's a lot of feet you got there do you have a lot of feet i always thought that the art for footwork was someone kicking a roll of toilet paper it took me a long time to figure out what was going on in that image Footwork is going Footwork. on. It's true. Um, yeah, so I guess gaming-wise, I unlocked my second boss cell in Dead Cells pretty recently. Okay. Um, that game is, like, perfect as far as games go. I don't even like... Rogue or I don't even like fighting games at all, but, like, Dead Cells just feels great to play. Um... I got some high scores in Dome Keeper that I can't beat anymore. Um, I got I won a game in Super Auto Pets. That was pretty cool. I got to maximum um, Crucible in Peglin. Crucible. Crucible. They don't have Ascension. They have Crucible. Okay. Uh, so I'm pretty good at Peglin now, which is not a good skill. It's not transferable, <laughs> as it turns out. Do you desire your gaming skills to be transferable? It would be seems nice. Like, seems like more than that's worth. I feel like 
Getting good at Slay the Spire made me better at games generally in a way that getting good at Peglin did not make me better at games uh, generally. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Thanks, Blue Milker. Um, yeah, but that's like most of what I've accomplished in games. It Gaming is something I do to turn my brain off, not necessarily as like a a gauntlet I put myself through. So, mm -hmm. Oh, I was really good at... Um, was Storybook Brawl this year, or was that another year? <laughs> Time is like broken. Storybook Brawl ended early this year. They came out with a new one. Yeah, I saw that, that there's like a fan-made clone. Uh-huh. Are you going to check it yeah. out? Run it back? Um, I'll probably wait until they've swapped out the AI art. Um, oh, oh, I and then give it a look. That. Yeah, they're using AI art allegedly as placeholders. Um, but there is just placeholder art. You can just use placeholder art. That's my feeling. Uh, you could just write the word placeholder on a screen instead of mm -hmm. using art that is stealing other artists' work. I'm not like 100% against AI art, but I do have very complicated feelings on it. Shall we unpack your feelings? Yeah, so... I think tomorrow morning I'm talking with Sharon Martin, or it might be the day after tomorrow. Um, but they have been working on an AI tool that recommends ways to finish your sentences as you're typing in the voice of a person that you choose from the free freedom of common domain, free domain, what's it called? Uh, creative Commons? Probably. I feel like it's domain, though. Public domain? Public domain. There you go. From the public domain. And... It's, like, kind of cool, but also kind of creepy. So I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to have to talk to them about that. That's going to be interesting. I look forward to hearing about it. I am looking forward to talking to them about it, for what it's worth. Uh, I made that sound yeah. like a... Herculean like you're gonna have a when it really gonna isn't. give them a sit down. Yeah, that's not <laughs> what I was actually trying to communicate. Yeah, I, I figured. Um, yeah, so AI art is complicated because there are a lot of things people say about AR, AI art. They say it is theft. They say it is not real art. Um, and I think like one of those things is true and the other isn't. I think every medium is a valid form of expression and that AI art is real art and learning how to create art through AI is its own skill. But that uh, AI art is created from models that are fed images without, like they're not just from the public domain, they're also private work that they didn't have permission to train AI models on. Mm -hmm. and that that creates a lot of problems. And so I think the discourse just gets really flattened into like shitting on people who make AI art instead of talking about like how we can create legal protections for artists that are a little bit more robust. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I feel strongly that it is bad to shit on the people who are using the medium like we both like super composite who created loab or lobe um and and she's an a or they're an ai artist i actually don't know their pronouns sure yeah i think Make that is a reasonable take thanks it's just like more than a tweet worth of ideas yeah we don't really do that anymore uh, in the world, so... Yeah. I'll make a 30-minute video on it for you. Thank you. Welcome. Can you have at least one spreadsheet? Yeah. Good. I Honestly, I, I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend loves to make fun of you when you make PowerPoint presentations. I'm glad your boyfriend has some joy in his life. He does. He just finds it very silly, and I think it's sweet. <laughs> uh, 
Am I also spreadsheets? Um, I am not a spreadsheet wizard, but I believe in a spreadsheet. I know that they're useful. I just am not as good at using them as uh, perhaps a Jorbs is. I never took a statistics class, for instance. I don't know if I would recommend it. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think you would enjoy learning witchcraft? Yes. Or maybe you should go for it then. Hell yeah. I'm about it. Oh, I don't know the spreadsheet clips. Asrablier is always sending clips to me, and I don't know how to tell him that I just don't watch videos. <laughs> I just will not I click think, a video. I think you just did, May. Well done. Thanks. You're welcome, S. Rabelier. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We're just demolishing each other today. Sorry, what did I have to do with that? It was... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, didn't have to call attention to it. Um, I don't think I was the one who did. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I thought that there was something about you taking responsibility. Didn't we have that conversation in another one of these streams? <laughs> yeah, so after you say something out loud to over a thousand people. Oh man, I didn't even look at I... your number. <laughs> That's really I probably not. Should not be talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. You're no. fine. But uh, it doesn't really go back in the bottle, May. Hmm. Oops. I'll have to live with my choices. What is May the month? I am May. That's me, and I am a mod for this channel. And also one of Steven's friends. And other things too, probably. I've always thought media training just seemed like such a, a dumb idea. Like, why oh, would you have to You're about be to make fun of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just... One second. <laughs> Let me put my seatbelt on. No, I'm done. That's fine. <laughs> Your punchline was better. <laughs> yeah, I don't um, talk to large audiences with very f much frequency, but I don't experience stage fright, which is a bad combination, actually. No, oh, it's fine. <laughs> you give other people too much credit, I think. For what? Well, you compare yourself to other people while giving your, them too much credit. It's a vicious combo. Yeah, perhaps. Jorbs mm. uses too many mods in this game. <laughs> so Maya's not a Slay the Spire mod. She's a mod of the channel. I am a Slay the Spire mod, actually. He does things... Oh my I've god. I've been programmed into the interface. Imagine, like, if an AI voice could be added to your Slay the Spire game client to talk to you and tell you that it was your friend. I think they have a movie about that. Mm-hmm. Mithrigan? I was gonna say her. Oh, yeah. We've done it a few times. What's the your what's the best movie you've seen recently? Oppenheimer. I thought Oppenheimer was really good. Wait, you saw Barbie and Oppenheimer and you went with Oppenheimer? Uh-huh. By Miles. Wow, I didn't know you were a misogynist, better. Jorbs. <laughs> You can just say that you hate women, I guess. I'm not sure how you missed it all this time. That's <laughs> uh, so true. Yeah. 
Oh god, I have so many DMs. Oh no. Jerks <laughs> <laughs> does have Kenergy. No, I, I really enjoyed the panache involved in making a movie about um, the A-bomb and having the A-bomb not be the main focus of the film. Mm. I think that just, I, I just have a lot of respect for what must have gone into see that it. decision. What was the main focus? It's about Oppenheimer's life. It's about oh. legacy and greatness and... Oh, so I, I already saw Hamilton. I'm good. It is comparable to Hamilton, but it's like if Hamilton were good instead of um. Hamilton. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just because that's a valid take now. Uh, that's cool. I saw Poor Things recently, which was very good, and I would recommend... It earns its R rating. It really earns it, though. I'm stunlocked by the idea that Hamilton not being very good wasn't an okay take before. It there was feels a while like... in which there was genuine enthusiasm for Hamilton, and then everyone was like, oh wait, this is really corny, isn't it? Also, the other stuff. Um, but... It feels like a a great misapprehension of what it means for something to be bad. <laughs> How do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Stone Calendar okay. is going to kill Giant Hud. Look at that. Boom. Thanks, Stone Calendar. Wait, it didn't do it. Oh, there you are. I'm. Your audio is uh, desynced from the video for me. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of Stone Calendar. Me too. I think it did a good job. Oppenheimer also had better dance numbers, has been claimed. <laughs> well, I didn't think the first and second half of Oppenheimer were that different from each other. It's interesting that you say that. That was not a vibe that I really got. Sorry, that what and Oppenheimer were that different from each other? So in the first half of the movie, they are developing the bomb, and then they mm -hmm. drop it. And then the second half of the movie, there are a lot of trials and politics around the bomb, and are they going to keep making more bombs for the Cold War, or should they stop? Etc, etc, etc. Spoiler et alert, they make Lots of more. stuff about communism. Mm -hmm. um, they do make more, yeah. But Oppenheimer doesn't necessarily like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And... I don't know. To me, it didn't feel like the two halves were that different in... Like, what they were interested in was Oppenheimer and the way that he fit into the scientific community and the military uh, arm of the U.S., and it was just a thorough telling of that story, I thought, in a way that mm. was really interesting and well done. I see. I didn't see it because I hear it was very, very loud. And I am uh, a delicate baby who cannot withstand loud noises. Okay. It is now available for home viewing, so... Maybe I'll catch it sometime when I feel like being bummed out. It's been known to happen. I didn't feel bummed out watching it, and now I'm wondering if I'm a terrible person. Yeah, it's a real question. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. How does one really know? <laughs> I think you ask me. I am the ultimate arbiter. I think you're okay. You're like the... the, like, 
Oracle, who gets visited halfway through the hero's journey. Yeah. That's me. It's like its own type of Manic Pixie Dream Girl. But I don't have to keep up with dyeing my hair, which is great. Would you like to provide verdicts on members of chat? Yes. I think we open it up. All right. They have to volunteer themselves. I'm not. Would just like going to, to be judged. <laughs> Whether or not you're a good person, Dural. Dural is adorable and is good. Old man Biff, I don't know who you are. Carados. Um, you bring terrible vibes sometimes, but overall a very good person. Smash you, don't know who you are. The Thorgot, you're wonderful. Uh, only if the answer is good. All right, W -O -B Peebs, I will keep my mouth shut. I don't know who you are. <laughs> the Albion, I think you are uh, Chaos Incarnate. You are like the perfect foil to Blaz in the strangest of ways. I'm Lobster. learning so much about my community right now. Yeah. Lobster, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Portatron, I'm not familiar enough with you. Maybe Mystic, are you a good person? If you're worried about it, you're probably doing okay. Moo Man, do I you, think you're alright. Do you think that's true? On average, yeah, I think. Good people worry about being good people. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I think some amount of self-awareness helps you be a good person. Although, Sam, who will be on later, is like the least self-aware person I know, and he's also one of the best people I know, so maybe my metrics are bad. Sam feels self-aware to me. Really? Maybe my he's metrics not. are bad. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, we'll ask he's, him. We'll get he's his just like vibing us. through life, not feeling insecure about anything. It's so incredible. I can't imagine I think, what it's like to be him. I think you're conflating confidence with not being self-aware, maybe. Hmm. I think self-consciousness is kind of the opposite of confidence. I don't like change. You want me to notice you. I have noticed you. Hello. I don't know what all these people want from me. Apparently to be judged on whether or not they're a good person. Yeah. I think this is a better way of doing it than like social media. Yeah, that's true. We want to be judged. Everyone just wants a little bit of attention paid to them at all times. That sounds true. That's why we come to Twitch so that sometimes the streamer notices us. Is that why we come to Twitch? I think so. I come to Twitch mostly because I am feeling like a potato. Hmm. I wonder if it's different as a streamer. I don't know. Yeah. I think so, because I go... When I stream, it's because I want to do something social that doesn't actually require me to be social. Um, like, very low expectations on my own terms, hanging out with people. Uh, I meant going to other people's chats. Oh, yeah. It's probably a very different experience. Sometimes I get recognized. It's very awkward. I've thought about <laughs> just getting a different account to watch Twitch on. I don't it's hard really to want be so that famous. Shit. That's why I don't have my uh, check mark on my name. I don't want mm -hmm. people to know. But then at some point, people started like knowing a lot of the time anyway. I'm sorry that you're so popular. It's got to be really hard. We all carry our own crosses. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think having a second account is probably a healthy way to deal with that. If you really don't want to be noticed. 
I you like could call it, it like stress me out to like log into a different account. I guess you can just have a different browser window that's logged in in a different way, right? Okay, what should my next account name be? Ooh, um, everything I'm thinking would get you banned from Twitch. How about just Goatsy? Well, that's that's where you landed then. No, that would get you banned. 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 Oh, Goatsy. What about Goatsy? Goats are popular. They're very cute. Okay. You could be Sword Guy 69. Sword Guy 69. I feel like that would mm -hmm. probably be fine. Do you think you're allowed 69 in your username? Are you allowed to um, make usernames with 69 in them, chat? Hey, chat. Everyone add a 69 to your username real quick. Yes. It would be discriminatory toward people who were born in um, 1969 to not allow that, right? Yeah. It's not just Because a chat care or Twitch cares about being discriminatory toward anyone. Well, no offense, Twitch. A little offense. Ah, uh, have to keep in mind that in 1969, when they were born, it wasn't even a sex thing yet. It's true. Yeah. Wait, I don't know that that's true. No. Prior now to... I have to look up the history of prior... 69 being a sex thing. Prior to 1969, there was only uh, blowjobs and masticating box, but never in concert. Oh, man. I have the grossest story to tell you later. <laughs> History of 69 as a sex number. The term is found in 1790 French work. The whore's catechisms. Ah. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, I am Irk, for gifting a sub to SwordGuy69. Thank you, I am Irk. Sex was not invented until the 80s. That's lucky. I got here just in time. It seems believable to you. <laughs> it explains a lot. Have you ever read about the Vatican's, Vatican's pornography collection? No. I've it's been to the read. Vatican. I didn't see oh. it on display. You missed out. Oh, yeah, it's very private. <laughs> what is there to know about the Vatican's pornography collection, May? Oh, let me quickly Google it and refresh my memory. Because I know it's interesting, but I don't remember why. It's on Snopes. Does the Vatican have... Well, it doesn't have the world's largest pornography collection. I already knew that. Oh, Boyle has not been able to find any evidence of pornographic antiquities that were rumored to have been stored at the Vatican. Okay, well, I was misled by the TV show QI. So, I think we should blame Stephen Fry for my wasting everyone's time here. Understood. Mm -hmm. Stephen Fry, what the fuck? What the fuck are you up to, Stephen Fry? What is Stephen Fry up to these days? Can you do like documentaries or something? Um, I think just like having a ton of money. He was just in something. Uh, let me check his IMDb. None of this. Oh, he was just in Heartstopper as the uh, principal. Did you watch Heartstopper? It's very cute. Does principal mean lead actor? No. Uh, principal, it's a school. It's a high school okay. drama. Okay. Like a queer high school drama. I could have gone either way. Yeah, that's so valid. Um, No, I did not watch that. Oh, it's cute. The you latest like high school teen thing that I watched was Sex Education. 
That was like I'm... fine. Yeah, I didn't see that one. It was recommended to me so many times that, like, on principle, I can't watch it. I understand. Yeah. There's another use of the word principle. Yeah. Well done. Even Fry's being a turf nowadays? No! I had such a soft place in my heart for him. What Not anymore. Kill your heroes, y'all. If you could move to another planet to get away from your heroes, which planet would you move to? Ooh, that's complicated, because not a lot of them can uh, support life. So, I guess, where would I like to die the most? I think Jupiter is very pretty. Do you think you're going to get to enjoy that? A lot? Um, maybe on the way there a little bit. Oh, okay. And then they'll sort of drop me out and there will be no air. What's it called when air creates sort of a border around a planet? Atmosphere. Atmosphere. That's the one. Also a wrapper. Yes. Very good one. Who? Yep. I haven't listened to Atmosphere in forever. Did you also reflexively look to see if Carados was sharing something from Atmosphere's Wikipedia right then? Yeah, I really was. I was. Yeah, I me too. Honestly, yep. was in the middle of saying who I hope is not a turf. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Can't say anybody's name in public without having to be a little bit worried. Although I did learn uh, the very important skill of typing in famous person's name problematic into Google, just to check and see, see where the uh, Tumblr discourse is at on any particular person. What's your hit rate like on that? Uh, it's, um, you know, no news is good news, and I find a lot of news. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. It's okay, Moomin. You didn't ruin Stephen Fry. Stephen Fry ruined Stephen Fry. Oh no, Chicane. You're gonna get banned. <laughs> oh. Stephen Fry says, Chew with the dis dehumanizing discourse when arguing and gets called a turf. What is Stephen Fry saying? Stephen Fry. Problematic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stephen Fry urges calm and debate over J.K. Rowling. No, I will not be calm. <laughs> you would like to see both sides stop fighting because there is no winner. Wow, that's kind of a bit out of touch. Yeah. I mean, it's very easy to say that on your pile of money from narrating all of the Harry Potter books. Two sides are very sore and anxious about their enemies. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if both of those are legitimate fears. There's actually no Steven, difference between good and bad things. Steven, Steven, Steven. He has the same name as me. I'll have to change my name. Yeah, it's been ruined, it's tarnished. It's okay. Masticating Box 69 is my new identity. It's a good username. I really think that that one's gonna stick. You could do like an XX on either side, make it a little edgier. I assumed that was just kind of a given. Yeah. Good idea. I just... I just got very bored with banning people at some yeah. point. I've increasingly found myself thinking like, 
they'll work it out or they will leave. They have to. Like, I don't really, really know if that's annoy. true. Yeah. You have to be like deliberately problematic a few times before I'm going to ban you. But luckily, we have like S Rabelier here, who's a little quicker on the gun. Yes. Very few people reach the point where I would ban them. They are already gone. Mm -hmm. We miss each other like ships in the night. Yeah. Um, you've been asking everyone what their best gaming moments were of the year. Yes, I asked Minus you that. Did you? Oh, you asked about my achievements, which is different. Okay. Fair this is not an achievement, it's just a nice moment. Alright, what was your best moment? Uh, my boyfriend and I, every day we do the New York Times connections puzzle and the spelling bee together. Okay. And it's a very cute, cozy time that we spend together. And like, I think one of the ways that games can be a source of connection was mine when I played mini golf. Can I ban? Oh, I don't like change. For continuously dunking on me for being bad at mini golf, because I'm about to be pretty bad at Scrabble on this channel. So apparently Priya has been practicing, which is like um, she still has so much faith in me as a human being. That's really sweet. I love that. Priya is so great. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Uh, I am pretty bad at Scrabble, so I'm just gonna be bad at it. That was what I invited you here to do, man. Yeah, somebody has to lose. And that's what I'm here for. And the rest of us. Mm -hmm. The word game played on stream a few days ago is hard. What word game did you play? The Mantle. The Mantle a... is really hard. I love it. We did a Samantle together. How many did it take you? A hundred or something? Yeah, that's wow. about right. It was in the hundreds somewhere. Nice. I know that there's some like basic Scrabble strategy other than just going for the multiplying spaces, but I don't know what it is. I feel like that's kind of doubtful. I think you just go for the multiples. Mm. I'm sure you'll be fine. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be injured one way or another. It should be fun. Are you still hoping to get a lot of art for your birthday next year? Did I say I wanted that? You did on Twitter. You've forgotten about it already. When did I when did I say that? You said something along the lines of your birthday is in April, and if you just receive a bunch of art from all your friends, you'll be happy. Oh. I mean that's very true. Both of those things are true. I do not remember saying that. I have this memory for when people say things about presents. Uh -huh. It just sticks in my head because so. of my obsession with good gift giving. I believe that 100%. Is mm -hmm. that a Midwest thing or is it a type of personality thing? I'm not originally from the Midwest. I think it's just a, uh, it's like a people pleaser kind of thing, okay. which people pleaser is the new empath, which makes me very annoying. Oh no. Yeah. What was the old empath? I think I missed this conversation somehow. I have never, I have never cared much about pleasing people. Um. <laughs> That's something to put in your dating bio for sure. <laughs> Not a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. All caps. Stars around not. Yeah, pretty great. I love it. Okay, it's time for me to give you a break before we hang out again. Thank you, May. Thanks. I appreciate you having me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.